Hey everyone, just a quick update with this Ryobi track saw. <clears throat> uh, when you get the track saw as a kit, whether you get the tool or the or the battery kit, tool only or, or battery and charger, you get the saw, two tracks. Two tracks is enough to cover a four foot section of plywood. I have bought the ex uh, extra track, two more tracks on homedepot.com. It's a, it's a set, they go together so you can go the whole entire length of an eight foot sheet of plywood and then some. But um, just a quick show here. This is uh, 1530 seconds plywood. I've got four sheets here and the depth of the track saw is, this is the maximum depth here. So you can see it's gonna clear four sheets of plywood for me. Um, I use this saw almost exclusively for breaking down plywood, uh, but I've also done some other pretty cool stuff with it. And I'll give you a quick example of that here in just a second. So when I put up all my plywood sheeting on this door, across this door, this was just one big wall of plywood sheeting. Uh, then I took my track, my, my you know, 96 inch plus track, and set it up against this wall, leveled it out, had a, a second person just hold it on the edge here for me, and I ran the track, track saw from the bottom straight to the top, and then did the same thing going across the top and the other wall. We only had to cut out these little corners here with an oscillating tool. Uh, so that was a pretty, pretty nice thing, nice way to be able to get that done. The other way we used it was same deal here. You can see this plywood it falls right in the middle of that two by four. So I wasn't, uh, I didn't pre-plan. I wasn't initially planning on putting this two by four rail here. I'm going to put up a barn door so that slides. So I have to put a two by six in above that. Um, this plywood went almost to the top corner of this barn and then we decided we were going to put a door in back here so I took the track you know put it across this here got it lined up and cut cut that whole section right there while it was up on the wall the one thing I did have to do is just make sure I cleared my screw holes here so I moved a couple screw holes below my line and or a couple screws below my line and then ran that saw through and knocked that whole thing out I'm going to do the same thing here because we're putting in a 14 foot wide sliding barn door, two seven footers actually. One's going to go that way, one's going to come this way. But this needs to be cut off right here on this line. So I will pull my track in here. I've already drawn my line. I'll pull my track in here, line it up. Now the real cool thing about this is like I'm holding this up with one finger. It doesn't take much effort. It's, it's a rubberized back so it doesn't really slide around unless I take the pressure off and let it go. But once I put the pressure on, you know, I line this guy up and I put my pressure on. So just putting the saw up against it, as long as you can keep downward force on that. You know, so when I say I had someone hold it out here, I literally had them hold it like this right here with one finger as I push the track from the bottom to the top. And the battery goes right over the top of their finger here. There's about an inch and a half of clearance. So, um, the other thing you could do is you could flip it around if you were on an edge. I've also done this where I flip it around and I put a small clamp right on the edge here. And as long as, like I said, it's a small clamp, it will the battery will ride over the top of that um, track, no problem. So I'm going to take you back and we'll cut that uh, plywood, the four stack of plywood that I showed. Oops. Forgot I carried my saw off. So I've got to cut this because now I'm not wanting to go ahead and do it the way it was doing before where I had to cut it up on the wall. So now I've pre-measured this. I'm going to cut it in advance the way it should have been done initially. Um, but like I said, we kind of make a, made a on-the-fly change. So here's the saw. It's going to be loud. Drop down. Give some space. Start it up. You really have to take your time. If you're force feed it, it will stall. I'm going to leave my other hand here. 
Sorry, I needed my other hand to hold that stuff up while, while I cut it off, but there it is. Nice smooth cut, four sheets of plywood. Now, I don't normally do it this way. It's way quicker to just go through one sheet at a time, but these just happen to be in my truck ready to go already. So I figured I'd do order time. And it was totally possible. Anyone who questions uh, the, the functionality of this track saw is kind of silly for the price point. You can't beat it. Uh, biggest complaint I have is the depth of cut. You know, there's other saws out there that might have a better depth of cut, but that's pretty darn good. Um, so I've been using this for, oh gosh, I don't even know when I post my first video, at least, I'd say, seven months. And it's kicking ass. It's doing a great job. I've uh, never changed the blade on it, so this was the first, well, this is not the blade that came with it. I put a Diablo blade on it from day one. I just Got rid of the Ryobi blade. I don't even think I, I made one cut with it just because and uh, went with a Diablo blade and I've, I've never had to change that blade out. <clears throat> like I said, it's a nice smooth cut. It'll tear out on the bottom because it happens. Penny wasn't afraid of those pieces of plywood falling. She, she's my supervisor. Make sure I don't hurt myself. So that's that. That's a little update on the track saw. Um, one thing that would be really cool, and I've just I've been lazy, I need to get a little piece of PVC to heat it up and jam it on this so that it'll shoot off to the side or further down. That would be great. Uh, right now, the way, you know, when you're cutting, it's basically blowing right in your face. Uh, so that would be an update. An upgrade I would make is just a piece of PVC shooting off to the side. All right, thanks for watching.